for this. I don't need priests for this. I don't need priests for that. I've told you this story before, and I will repeat it today. I was on a flight from Enugu to uh, from, uh, Lagos to Enugu long ago in the 90s. And sitting beside me was a lady. And as usual, you, you greet and probably introduce yourselves. And uh, when she recognized I was a priest, greeted me in a special way and I asked whether she was Catholic, a medical doctor and a woman. She said yes, she was Catholic, but converted by marriage from the Anglican Church. I asked her immediately, since you became Catholic, are there things you found in the Catholic Church that you find difficult to accept as a former Anglican? After a brief thought, she said only one thing. I was thinking of Mary, which is usually the problem of many Anglicans. Also, no, but confession. Confession. I wasn't prepared for that answer. You see, why? I don't think I need to confess my sins to another human being. I think when I sin, I should be able to confess my sins directly to God. Let me say, I have a few questions for you. Are you baptized? I say, yes. Are you incorporated in the body of Christ? I say, yes. Do you really believe it? I say, yes. Say, who baptized you? Jesus? I say, no, a priest. Are you wedded? Yes. Did you wed before God and his church? Yes. Did you see God that day? No. Whom did you see? A priest. See, you are a medical doctor. I say, yes. If God, if you heal me of my illness, do you think it is wrong for me to say that God healed me through you? I say, no. See, if God can heal me physically through you, why can't he heal me spiritually through another man? Obama could I asked the last question. Do you believe in the Eucharist? Yes. That's the great treasure in the Catholic Church. You believe it is the body and blood of Christ? Yes. Who spoke the word over that bread that made it body and blood of Christ? Jesus? Awesome. No. A priest. Ah. Say, ah. If a priest's word can change bread and wine into body and blood of Christ and you accept it, why then is it impossible for the same priest to act in the name of Jesus and forgive you your sins? So I never thought of it that way. At that moment, the plane landed. There are certain things you can do for yourself. All these people who tell you you don't need your priests, they are not Christians. They are businessmen. Because they will tell you you don't need priests for confessions. But you need them to give money to God. Go and let some other person help you return to full cleanness. But Jesus, when this man started talking of it everywhere, he himself became like the leper. He could no longer go the places he wanted to go. Onya abonye ha furumba na buy around. Kiaje mbazo kuo kuchuku. And in the process of doing, exercising his ministry, he put himself in difficulty. Otito dirijeso. Fathers, that is our life. Whatever you do, Give no offense to anybody. And don't seek your own advantage or convenience. So that you then can tell others also, be imitators of me 
as I am of Christ. Bishop Michael, energy servant of God, habitually asked his seminarians, who is your model? And many answered Bishop energy. Many answered Father A, Father B. As I know, your model must be Christ. True. But in the minds now, we help other human beings to look up to Christ. If we sufficiently reflect the person of Christ in our words, especially in our action. 